You are Swiss chard. Oh. And let's see, we've got some celery here. What else do we have? You guys, it's my first time starting seeds indoors and look at everything that's growing. This excites me because in addition to healthy food that's gonna be on our table, it is also gonna head our family towards food security and financial independence. Okay, today I am planting some more seeds and I'm just trying to get my soil mixture right. It's still falling apart a little too easy. I think I need some more water in it. I think this is good. This is my first year starting seeds indoors. I wasn't really sure the best way to go about it. Our inside temperature stays pretty cool. It runs about 60 to 64 degrees in here. I also don't have any south facing windows in my house. So just starting seeds indoors on a windowsill wasn't gonna really work for me. I started out the setup with a clear plastic bin and shop light hanging over it. And that worked okay to begin with, but then my plants started getting moldy. It was just holding too much humidity inside and it wasn't very vented. When I first had a mold problem, somebody told me to sprinkle baking soda on top of the soil blocks. And um, I think that that might have affected the alkalinity of the soil. The stuff didn't really grow. It didn't come up. And then when it did come up, it didn't really grow right. Um, so then someone else told me to use peroxide. I still have had a little bit of issue with um, mold just on top of the soil blocks. And I've just been spraying it down with this peroxide in the spray bottle. It seems to work pretty well. Seeds in the ground don't need light, they need heat. And the shop light I had wasn't providing enough heat when the lid was off of the clear plastic bin. So I ordered a couple of these heat mats from Amazon. They're by iPower and they cost about half the price of the same size from um, other seed companies. However, there's no way to control the temperature and so I wasn't sure they would be hot enough to germinate things like tomatoes and peppers. And so I also ended up getting these grow lights from Walmart. These are the 24 inch grow lights by HyperTuff that I got at Walmart. I really like the fact you can daisy chain them together. On the top rack, I connected them by simply zip tying them directly to the metal shelf above it. There wasn't a lot of room right here and so it made it easier to just um, directly connect them to the shelf. On the shelf below that, we used two by twos to mount them and then Chris tied these strings in a way so that I can lower them or raise them as needed so that we can get the seedlings the light they need. This year, it's go big or go home in the garden and I'm gonna document everything I do. So make sure you're subscribed and then click on the notification bell and check all so you'll know every time a video comes out. I still felt like the seeds weren't getting quite enough warmth in here. And Chris and I actually talked about enclosing this shelving unit with clear plastic that we had left over from before when we tried to make a greenhouse. And I was afraid we would have the same um, over humidity problems, extra humidity problems that we had as we did in the clear plastic bin. So then I saw on Dirt Patch Heaven's Facebook page where she put a sheet around her growing station and I thought that might really work and so far it has been a great addition and it has made a difference. Our seeds are doing incredibly well. What are you guys? What are you guys back here? You are Swiss chard. Oh. And let's see, we've got some celery here. What else do we have? What else have we got? We have Roma tomatoes. Nice. We have broccoli. All those were given to me by my friend. The kale is just amazing. I'm gonna have to plant these up to some bigger pots pretty soon. Uh, we're still having some frost. Uh, this today it's like in the 40s we might get snow tonight which is insane because last week we had a day that was like 93 degrees out it's just crazy so thank you Kathy for all these plants they're doing so good here in addition to everything Kathy gave me I've also started a lot of seeds of my own Yay! 
So most of them are Baker Creek. I've got the Rocky Top Salad Mix, Red Leaf Lettuce, Blue Kale, Watermelon, Cantaloupe, Yellow Squash, Zucchini Squash. I started some spaghetti squash that was given to me by my friend April from Grace Junction Homestead. And out of all that, the red lettuce hasn't come up at all. And I did two different plantings of it, but the packet was a freebie from a couple years ago, so I think the seeds might just be too old. Something's flowering back there. What? Why is it too early to flower? I'm gonna, what is that? I just now saw that. Let's see if we can't get to it. What are you, what are you that's flowering? Oh, that's the bok choy. Uh-oh. I don't know what to do about that. And it's big. I'll have to I'll have to do some research and find out. I don't know what to do. I've never grown bok choy. In fact, I don't even know if I've ever eaten bok choy. Today I'm going to be planting red, green, and yellow bell peppers from Baker Creek. And I'm also going to be planting mortgage lifter tomatoes that were given to me by April from Grace Junction Homestead. I added a card table that we had in the shop in here, which makes potting plants so much easier because now I can do it standing up instead of kneeling down over this bucket like I used to do it. Um, I also had a problem with several of my plants that weren't in little containers got overwatered and really leggy. And so I spent about three hours this morning uh, repotting them into solo cups and that was a lot of work, but look how good everything's looking. I'm really happy with it. Also, I think we had our last frost last night, and so I have opened a couple of windows here in the um, grow room there and there to start letting these plants harden off. I don't know if that's gonna be enough exposure to outside temperatures and wind and stuff, or if I'm gonna need to put them outside. If I have to put them outside, it's gonna be a little bit of an issue because look right out this window. The chickens have taken over my porch. So if I have to move these plants outside, I'm gonna have to build some kind of cage to keep the chickens off of them. Like a little plant cage or something. Plus I'm gonna have to move all these guys outside and inside every day. Whatever's gonna take to make them grow is gonna be worth it. It's hard to see the plants under the grow lights. So I'm gonna turn them off for a second so we can check out how everything is doing. On the top shelf, we have one little plant coming up right here that says it's a tomato. But that doesn't really look like a tomato to me. It's kind of big. I don't know, we'll see. I did reuse some soil when stuff didn't grow, so I wonder if that isn't maybe like a cantaloupe or cucumber or something different. But look, here's another little green something that I didn't even realize was growing. Um, so that looks more like tomato-y to me. <laughs> That's like the right size plant for tomato. Any peppers yet? No yellow peppers, no red peppers. This whole tray is green bell peppers. That's one of our staple foods that we eat year round in our family. So hopefully these will all come up and produce lots and lots of bell peppers. Right. Over here I have cucumbers and strawberries. Nothing coming up quite yet. Hopefully well before too long. There's my kale, doing really good. And over here we've got watermelon and cantaloupe back there. This whole tray is Rocky Top lettuce mix. And then here is all the stuff that I planted up. I've got squashes, celery, some Roma tomatoes, some Rutger tomatoes, cucumbers, Swiss chard, lettuce, lots of kale, some broccoli, some bok choy. Look at all that, it's all doing so good. That's all almost kale, I think. I think everything, I think every single one of those right there is kale. Kale's another food that we eat a lot of in our family, so um, hopefully they'll all turn out. And then down here, I've got 
a couple of um, sweet potatoes that I'm trying to um, grow some slips on. You can see it's starting to root. These have been a couple weeks. I had them in the window. They weren't doing much in the window, so I don't know if you can see those roots down there or not. Um, so I moved them under the grow lights. They're doing better now. I've got two on that shelf. I also have two more on this shelf. And then I left one in the window. So we'll see how they do. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out my grow room. I'm very excited about all the green things we've got going on here. Be sure and check out the description down below for a link to all the products we've used. And I will see you on the next video.